Yes, hey, what's up guys, what's going on, welcome back, hope y'all are doing well. Newcastle versus Chelsea, I'm not going to lie, I was crossing my fingers that this was going to be a Manchester City-Chelsea game, I thought it was going to have the, I, I was wishing, I, I didn't think, I didn't. I honestly, if I had to be honest, I didn't think it was going to be like that, uh, I do expect whenever I see Chelsea play, the ups and downs, so you might get, and that's what we got today, you might get Chelsea playing really good, and then the next game Chelsea plays like absolute crap. Uh, and then they come back and they do something amazing and they just like knock your socks off. Uh, this was one of those games. So it's, uh, it's, it is playing out the way I envisioned. I do recall reading, watching social media, uh, hearing people just say that after the, uh, the Chelsea versus Manchester United, uh, I'm sorry, Manchester City game, that Chelsea were going to, they're going to do amazing. They're going to, you know, start climbing up that ladder, the, the EPL ladder, the table. And I didn't want to be Captain Buzzkill, but I saw this coming a mile away. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think also they're going to do that bad where they're going to be relegated or they're going to be uh, uh, definitely not relegated. Although, hey, you never know, but definitely not relegated. I thought they were going to be probably, probably uh, fighting for relegation, right? They're going to be in the re relegation zone. Um, but yeah, that's what we got. I was crossing my fingers that I'd get, you know, a really, really good game. It was a good game, but I was thinking, hoping, hoping again, I keep saying thinking, hoping that it was going to be uh, the same kind of uh, energy and atmosphere and it was a really good atmosphere uh, same kind of vibe that I got with uh, with the Manchester City versus uh, with, the, with Manchester City um, and that wasn't it now I don't think my personally I don't think Chelsea played a, an awful game I think the mistakes that they made in goals the three goals um, that's where they screwed up if you took away two of those the ones that there was nobody marking. Nobody was marking Isak, and nobody's marking marking what's his name, Lassell. I I would have I would gladly say that I'm if I was a Chelsea fan, I'm 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 okay with that. I'm okay with a two one, you know, because it would have been a two one, and I would have been okay with that. They're playing away. Uh, Newcastle is, I think, slightly the better team, um, and Newcastle played really really well. It's not like they got lucky. They played really really well. Uh, Almiron, the hustle from that guy. Um, Gordon also the work ethic uh, Char uh, what's his name um, uh, Guimaraes the Brazilian um, uh, Millie is that Millie the 17 year old played a hell of a game really good uh, pass in the, in the beginning just all, all out throughout the whole game he played really well um, what's this, this other guy's name because um, I'm just oh Trippier uh, Isak of course uh, really good game Joe Ellington you know he had himself a goal um especially after getting a red card against Brazil. It was, uh, you could tell it meant the world to him just to score that goal. So they weren't lucky. They deserved the, uh, the victory. But if it wasn't for those two goals, then nobody was marking. Nobody, absolutely nobody was marking. I thought it was going to be an okay game. And that's what I expected from Chelsea. An okay game. I didn't think because they did this, had this amazing game against City that they were going to pull this off a, a second time. I, I was hoping I was going to be wrong and they were going to play the same way. And it was like a different, completely different Chelsea. But again, I thought they played well. I thought they had a really good game. Uh, well, no, I'm, I'm taking it too far. I thought they had a good enough game. A good enough game. I'm neutral, so I thought they had a good enough game. Um, the only thing besides those two uh, mistakes were, um, and I know it's part of the game. It's part of, you You have to include that in the whole game. So that pretty much means that they had a horrible game. But I'm talking about what I used to see Chelsea play where there was no understanding. I know it's a new team, pretty much. These these players, a lot of them in the beginning of the season last year, they never played with each other. They're just getting to know each other, so I understand that. But they were just a sloppy mess. Sloppy as hell. And uh, just clueless when it came to, to attacking. And not this time around. I mean, this time around, there's a little bit more fluidity. They looked really good until the when Sterling came back and, and scored the goal. They looked decent enough. Decent enough. Yes, Newcastle had more possession of the ball but the attempts were equal on both sides i think it was six six um and the red card my god i that just the the idiocy like like the guy said you know schoolboy errors those were schoolboy that was a schoolboy error you know kicking the ball away why dude why forget about him being captain he's got to be an example i know that to a lot of people that means a lot screw that shit just overall why why would you do something like that you know because so, the second yellow it was yeah, it was a clear yellow. It was a clear red card, of course. And then uh, Sterling also. You know, he didn't get a red card, but he got a yellow for kicking the ball away. Uh, Kukure had a yellow. Uh, and then Thiago, of all people, did not expect that from Thiago. Uh, oh, such a <laughs> such a bad, bad, bad play. 
um, pretty much just gifting the ball to Joe Ellington, you know, to make it a 4-1. So if you would have t- taken that away, again, I thought they had a good enough game. They they did, yeah, they did well enough. Well enough considering it's Chelsea and the way Chelsea have been playing. And I'm talking about before the Manchester City game, right? And before the other games that they that they were kind of playing good and they were coming back. Chelsea were just, I mean, they, were, they, they are the butt joke uh, of the league, you know? Um, and just no... No understanding, no uh, no tactics. Uh, I don't know what they were playing at. I don't know what. Every time they went out to the field, I don't know what was happening. And all these players played subpar. None of them played really well. You know, Enzo, Caicedo. I mean, Caicedo just coming in. But Enzo, you know, being at that, you know, up until that point, the most expensive player in the EPL. In the EPL's history, my God. Just average at best. Average player. So I thought they had... Ah, if it wasn't for the mistakes, it just pisses me off because they were doing good enough and then those mistakes just LaSalle all by himself. Nobody covering him. Nobody covering him. Absolutely. I don't know who was supposed to cover him. Nobody. I know in the first one with Isaac, that should have been uh, Badia Shiel or Ugu Kukwachi or whatever that kid's name is. One of those two. It wasn't Kukurea. Kukurea is the one that played him on side. But nobody was covering him. And really good pass by Miley, I think, the 17-year-old. Um... But after that, oh man, just that, the mistake. And Thiago, of course, I can't. Why? Right after, right after the goal, right after the LaSalle goal, uh, you know, what, 90 seconds, a couple of seconds, like just a minute, like just over a minute, and you make that mistake. Come on, dude, God. And if it wasn't for that Sterling goal, I mean, I hope Sterling doesn't go down in form because, you know, he's riding that good wave of, of momentum. He's playing so good, and, you know, I just... I, yeah, I hope this doesn't dampen his uh, his playing style, you know, because because it might. I mean, it it would it definitely would anybody else's right uh, playing this, making these these juvenile amateur mistakes. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't be a uh, you know? Who wouldn't feel let down? So hopefully, you know, his level remains because I really really enjoy seeing Sterling play the way he's playing. And I think most people would agree. Uh, even the uh, opposition, you you love going to the stadium. You love watching. Uh, a player like that shine, you know, and uh, and play uh, at his best, you know. So yeah. Uh, other than that, uh, it was uh, yeah, it was a good game. Anyways, that's it. That's all I got to say about that. Uh, thank you so much for watching, as always, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.